Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech. And I need to turn on the video. That would usually help. Oh boy, this is off to a fantastic start. However, I think that if we're going to move on the Soviet Union, it needs to be sooner rather than later. Because they've been fighting a lot of wars over in this area, I suspect they're in a, at a skeleton crew over here. And that's exactly what we want. We, we want to grab a bunch of territory over here if we can. And just attempt to get that done. That'll be for the best. So, to that end, what do we need? We need naval supremacy. It's kind of rough, though, because if we look at this, we can see that all this is out of naval range. However, there's a solution to this, and that solution is Japan. So let's talk to Japan here, and we are going to ask for docking rights. They will allow that. They don't want docking rights from us, interestingly, because they have strategic reasons to be hostile to us. That's slightly spooky, but we're going to get that from them. And did they already grant it, or do we have to wait for them to respond? We may... Okay, yes, they did grant it to us. Fantastic. So in theory, this should update and should no longer be out of naval range. Well, some of them aren't, anyway. The North Pacific one is still out of naval range, which slightly surprises me because the Japanese have a naval base here. Okay. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to split the selected task force in half, and we're going to select these guys, and they, like, we're, we're going to just have a bunch of task forces here, right? So we're just going to do something like this, and these guys here, they're going to be responsible for, if I can uh, deselect this. I want these to be patrolling as well. And let's see here, these guys. Oh, I actually want all of these groups together. I do want this happening like this. Okay. So this should, in theory, I guess that is still a little bit out of naval range, but... We want these guys to be the ones that we split up into, like, let's see here. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll split up like so. That's, I think, more than we need, right? Or is that the correct amount? That may be the correct amount. So we're just going to do something like this. And I want to select this guy next. Actually, I want to select all of these. And I want to remove all regions from them. Select all. I want to remove regions. No regions to remove. Okay. So we're going to have these guys here. They're going to grab the Mexican coast. I don't want to move to the location. I want to patrol the location. There we go. And then these guys, they are going to patrol the North Central Pacific. These guys are going to patrol... The Western Seaboard. These guys... I didn't want to do that. These guys are going to patrol the Northeast Pacific. Uh, these guys up here... They're operating in Mexican coast. Correct. These guys I want to put in the Central North Pacific. Like that, I think. These guys in the North Pacific. It's out of naval range, though. And, oh, we have to do this. That would help. <laughs> Fantastic. And then these guys, I want them patrolling in the Bering Sea. And finally, these guys, I want them patrolling in the North Pacific. Okay. In theory, that should be what we want. I have no idea if it actually is or not. Let's just give it some time for them to spread out. We are, of course, still waiting for some divisions assigned to this to move in, so that'll be fine. Okay. And then, as far as this fleet here goes, why is this down to seven now? Hmm. I may have messed something up. We'll keep an eye on that. As far as this fleet goes, I want them to be naval in invasion supporting over here. But I want to remove all of these regions, if possible. 
like that. Okay. Something along those lines is what I want in theory. Okay, this is back up to eight, so that's good. I do want to set all of these to be like... We're never going to hit this, but I just want want them to be... Actually, maybe not this many. Maybe like 20 and like 20. That'll do. And I want to alter all of these. Okay, something along the lines of... That. We'll alter this one as well. And then we'll also add in... Submarine. And we'll have 20 of those. Okay. And then I didn't want to select that. I wanted to do this. Fantastic. Move that up to 20. And then this one up to 20 as well. And then as far as this one goes, we'll need to deselect some of these, I think. Okay, some of these are not exactly what we want, but sure. We'll let that go for now. So what are these guys currently ordered to do? They're active in eight regions. They should not be active in eight regions. Move them something like that. We should have eight total fleets here, right? Except we have nine and a detached fleet. Well, that's interesting for sure. Our naval supremacy is uh, questionable, I'd say. <laughs> no accessible regions. What are you assigned to? Like, no, seriously, what is your assigned region? I wish it said. Okay. So, it should be assigned like that. Remove all regions. And I'm just going to assign you to the Mexican coast. Okay. Okay. Smoke generators just finished up. This is really awkward, but uh, <laughs> that's fine. We're going to go ahead and research basic heavy batteries for now. Okay. So we know that this one is correct now. So this one, let's go ahead and have it patrol the North Central Pacific, but I'm going to remove all regions first. And then patrol like that. Now you're moving to naval base. Okay. So we're just going to remove all regions. This is the fleet, not the task force. Got it. So these guys are going to, of course, patrol the Mexican coast. We've cleared all of these, and we're just going to redo this. The North Central Pacific. The Western Seaboard. This one will be the Northeast Pacific. Uh, this one is operating in Mexican coast right now. It should not be. This one should be in, like, the Central North Pacific, but it's, op it's active in five regions. But that's the whole fleet. That is correct. Okay, this one's moving to the naval base in Guatemala. That's fine. We'll take it up to the North Pacific. And then all these are moving to assigned fleet area. So this one can patrol out in the North Emperor chain. There we go. I think this is doing what I was expecting. And then these guys, they can patrol... In the Bering Sea. Like that. I don't think we have anything. Do we have something in the Northeast Pacific? Well, we actually can't reach it. Which is really awkward. Can we... Who's closest? The U.S.? Yeah. Can we also get naval basing rights from the U.S.? Actually, they won't quite give it. We're going to work on improving relations with them. They would accept docking rights, and that would probably improve relations. But we want to ask for docking rights. And I think that's something we can work on. Okay, so yeah, the Northeast Pacific we're currently struggling to get to. So what are you guys doing currently? What is your order? Patrol. Active in Bering Sea, North Emperor Chain. Okay, so these guys need to be... They need to have some of these regions removed. So we need to shift right click to remove these regions. We'll just have them be up in the North Pacific for now, I guess. Mexican coast, North Central Pacific. 
Okay. Like that. This is modifying the whole fleet, isn't it? Not just the task force. Got it. Well, this is really awkward. <laughs> this is not working the way I expected it to, but that's okay. We'll just remove all, all regions here from this fleet. And we'll have these guys go to the Mexican coast in patrol. Then we'll select this task force and we'll create a new fleet. We'll do it this way. They will patrol the North Central Pacific. Then we're going to select these guys and create a new fleet. It's going to be kind of awkward looking, but it'll be fine. The Western Seaboard. Then these guys create a new fleet. They will be patrolling the Northeast Pacific. Then we're going to take these guys, New Fleet, North Pacific. Then we're going to take these guys, New Fleet, and they're going to go for the Central North Pacific. Then we're going to take these guys, New Fleet, North Emperor Chain, like that. And we're going to take these guys, and they're going to go to the Bering Sea. Now I want to make sure they need to do that. There we go. Do the Bering Sea. These guys are active in two regions. We'll remove that one. And let's just go through. Make sure that there are no accessible regions. That's okay. We'll just make sure that they're all active in one region. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, this isn't necessarily going to be the uh, most effective fleet. For sure. We definitely need to get some fleet basing rights from the U.S. So. That's interesting. Base reluctance of minus 20. Let's see. Are we already improving relations with them? Yeah. Caps out at 100. Okay. That's fine. So what else can we do here? We could send an attaché, I suppose. We do have a non-aggression pact with them. Well, let's just see what we've got going on out here right now. So where are our ships right now? Well, they're working on heading out, I think. Like, are these guys still sa sailing here? No reachable strategic area selected. Fair enough. Iran has capitulated. So we really need to get this solved, right? So how can we get more opinion with the US? Well, that generated world tension malice is I think not going to go away. It's acceptable for us to offer them military access at this time, though. And that didn't generate any opinion. Fascinating. I'm wondering why that didn't generate opinion with them. It feels like it should have, but I guess Hearts of Iron just does not work that way. Okay, what else can we do? We can get plus three from improved relations. So that's the thing we could do. We could try to convert them over to fascist. I'm not sure that that's a great idea. I'm a little bit surprised that we're not able to use the base in Hawaii and the base up over here, in fact. Yeah, I'm surprised we're not able to get up here via Hawaii. And just go up that way. But maybe that is out of range. Maybe so. So. We gotta get some basing rights with the US, right? That's what it comes down to. What can we do here? I mean, we can continue to improve relations. That is an option. We could lend lease with them. I suppose we could just send them some crappy infantry equipment. And if I recall correctly, this does give... I believe this gives 
puppet power, like for integration of subjects. I don't think that this gives opinion. I'm going to try giving, giving them just a thousand here. One thousand. Okay. They accepted it, but yeah, that didn't give us any opinion. I'm not shocked about that. That's about what I expected. But we do have an unassigned infantry division, and we're going to assign that into this Coast Guard. Fantastic. And in fact, we've got another. And another. Is that all of them? Nope, we've got another. I really should just mash that button. Okay, so we need naval supremacy up here. We have range issues. Absolutely range issues. I would love to attack Siberia right now. I feel like this would be actually pretty good. With these range issues, it's rough for sure. Well, let's check in on our construction over here. Did we not actually... We did. Okay. Let's check in on our construction over here. We are almost done with this synthetic refinery. That's great. We're working on this other nuclear reactor. It's going to be a little bit yet. Yeah, the US is being totally jerks. There's our deck conversions research finishing up. That's great. We are mostly wanting to continue grabbing our passive bonuses right now. So we'll do that, and we will get our actual naval sections up later on. So yeah, a lot of these guys, they just can't get to their strategic area because of the naval range. Now, here's the question. Is that because we have crappy ships? The answer is probably yes. So let's actually go into our production here. And let's take a look at what would happen if we created a new variant of the early cruiser, the Bahia-class early cruiser. So this is the engine here. That gives us max speed and fuel usage. Where do we get naval range from? That's the question. Probably not there. Uh, that's not particularly great. You can see here our max range is 2,500 kilometers. So, do we get that, perhaps, from just simply getting different different uh, chassis? Perhaps. So, let's look at the next level of cruiser. That's this one. Let's see here. Max range, 3 kilometers. Or 3,000 kilometers, rather. <laughs> 3 kilometers would be insane. 4,000 kilometers and 4,500 kilometers. Yeah, so that's what we want to do. Okay, that would solve that problem. That's good to know. And let's go ahead and... Actually, we'll just wait for basic heavy battery to finish up in four days. That'll be fine. That'll be completely fine. Of course, getting those ships upgraded is going to be a whole nother kettle of fish. One more day here until basic heavy battery finishes up. There we go. And we are going to immediately go for cruiser hulls. Fantastic. I'm probably not going to start production until we get all the way to the end. Of course, naval ships don't have factory efficiency. So there's actually not really a point to that. It would be when the ship finishes up, like this one just did. In theory. Okay, so that's fine. That's something we can work on. But we definitely want to get the United States' opinion of us up a little bit. I feel like it is coming up. We're only at minus 20, but we can get plus 7 at this point. So what's bringing it up? What indeed? Recently delivered equipment. Hey, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. So let's modify this lend lease. We're going to send them 250 monthly. Now, 
this basic infantry equipment is actually not any good, right? We don't care about that. What we care about is that we want that recently delivered equipment bonus. Fantastic. We're going to continue improving relations as well. So this will go back up to, I believe it caps at 100. We're also going to trade more heavily with them and Turkey. There we go. I did think that we would be able to... I suppose we can't get up here initially. I did think that we would be able to go around, like, Hawaii to the Johnston Atoll. To here, to here, and just leapfrog our way up over this way. Of course, maybe we can. Who is active over here? Okay, these guys. Can we tell them... Let's see, this is out of naval range over here. So we can't make it to Hawaii. That explains a lot. Yeah, so this is impassable through here. So we definitely need to bring up our naval range to pull this off. No doubt about it. Luckily, we are working on our cruiser hull. But you know, this is a learning process. I'm not particularly familiar with this game. Japan wants to invite us to the faction. We're not ready to do that. So, with that in mind, I do think if we had basing rights with the U.S. that we could make it around. The question is, are we likely to get that? I mean... Maybe. We might be able to get it, but I think we need a lot of opinion to do that. Currently at minus 20, and that's just the base reluctance. So we've gotten their opinion of us to minus 4 at this point. We're going to deliver more equipment in like 11 days, so that should boost their opinion further. And we'll allow that. We will definitely allow that. But I have a feeling that the Soviet Union has very little over on this front over here. They're, they're not fighting anybody over here. They're only fighting over here at this point. And that's fine. That is completely fine. We definitely need to bump up our our naval range. Floating Fortress will be finishing up soon enough. Once that do that's done, we're going to continue working on ship upgrades. And that will be done now. Fantastic. So we're going to stop working on the Naval Doctrine temporarily. And we are instead going to work on these various hulls up over this way. We're going to grab the Submarine Hull 3 first. There we go. And in 18 days, we're going to grab probably Battleships 2 or something like that. These guys, they're going to hop into that Coast Guard. Perfect. How are we doing on our equipment? Out of curiosity. Only lacking 5k modern tanks right now. That's pretty good. We're making progress on that. Yeah, we're definitely making progress on it. That's very good to see. We've also stockpiled three nukes. We don't have the strategic planes to drop them at this exact moment, but that is fine. That is completely fine. We have another nuclear reactor going to be finishing up fairly soon, and we are working on infrastructure. We have another division to be assigned over here. That's fine. And we are lacking in a unit of steel and a unit of chromium again. Sounds good to me. So yeah, we're producing 18.25 modern tanks per day. That's pretty good. We're also producing a bunch of infantry equipment three. Also, absolutely magnificent. We're focused entirely on our Navy in terms of research right now. That pivot is one that needs to happen. Unfortunately, naval construction is expensive in terms of steel. So that's definitely something to consider. That said, our infrastructure finishing up will be very, very good for us. And we're going to be done with ladder shooting here in one day. So that's also phenomenal. So we will go ahead and grab, I think, heavy ship hulls. There we go. We'll get that started. Next finish is cruiser hulls in 22 days. 
and that is completely fine. So, I mean, these are mediocre. We already knew that. We weren't putting much effort at all into our naval research. That said, we should probably go ahead and do industrial land appropriation at this time. So we'll go ahead and do that, and let's see where that came out. Perfect. We'll get another shipyard going. And also, we'll repair this infrastructure in Mesopotamia here. Now, that's not Mesopotamia over here. That's Mesopotamia over here, I believe. <laughs> uh, Mesopotamia is, yeah, down here. There we go. Fantastic. Wrong Mesopotamia. So, I mean, in terms of our strategic navy mode, there's not a whole lot. Let's check in on the United States' opinion of us. Currently at zero. Okay. So, plus 18 from recently delivered equipment. And that does mean that we are still at minus 20. That said, we can gain up to plus 7 from improved relations right now. I'm going to let this continue to tick on in. When is our next delivery? 15 days. Okay. Sounds good. That is fantastic. So we'll go ahead and continue with that. Cruiser hulls in eight days. Wonderful. Absolutely great. And we're just going to continue blitzing our way through the different hulls as quick as we can. And then we'll grab all the support equipment. We're not going to worry too much about creating additional variants just yet. But I do want to get these hulls upgraded. So that'll be great. We'll do that as soon as we can. We could do additional industrial land appropriation, but I'm not going to. That's not a thing that we're going to do at this time. We are currently gaining about 15.8k. There's cruiser hulls. Great. And we're going to immediately start working on cruiser hull 3. Perfect. This is actually quite quick, so that is fine. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade our cruisers here to a variant. Yeah, let's go ahead and create a variant of the 1936 here. And I think that rapid fire guns are good for what? Destroyers and older cruisers. Okay. Whereas medium batteries, heavy cruiser batteries are good for like capital ships. And longer ranges. Yeah, something along those lines. We'll put some anti-air on there, I suppose, as well. Put a light cruiser battery. And I don't know. Let's see. What We could have, say, another medium battery on there. I guess that works. This one is, of course, one of these. Upgrade that. Fire control three. Radar four. Cruiser engine 3, secondary battery 1, and cruiser armor 1. Okay, so we'll do that for now, but we can't actually save this, apparently. Uh, oh, that's our navy experience? Oof. <laughs> okay, we'll just build the base model for now. Yes, I'm aware that that will cause me to lose production. I wish there was a way to tell it after you finished this production switch over, but alas, there is not. So we would like to switch this one over. That will lose us 60 days of production. That's fine, I guess. So we'll get those started, and that will be absolutely fine. We do need more steel, because of course we do. <laughs> we always need more steel. Always and forever. Well, that was some nice incompetence. Perfect. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see if we can maybe get some of these areas out here unlocked. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.